In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we have a new lesson for second secondary grade, second semester, English subject, 2A reading traveler 4. This lesson is prepared by Mr. Muhammad al Bhari and presented by Muhammad al Athami. Today we will practice reading an article about flying cars. Practice answering comprehensive questions. Then we will identify new words in different contexts. Warm up. How have the car and the airplane affected our way of life? In now we use cars and airplanes. How have the, they? How have they affected our way of life? What are the advantages and disadvantages of each means of transport? I want you to answer these questions. How have the car and the airplane affected our way of life? For example, they facilitate our transportation. We could travel faster, faster and easier. We could go all over the world. And what are the advantages and disadvantages of each means of transport? What are the advantages and disadvantages of cars? Advantages and disadvantages of airplanes? You can say, for example, that cars are easier than airplanes to drive. Airplanes are faster than cars. And so on. Now, we are going to read a text. The title is Flying Cars, Next Generation Vehicles. Vehicles like cars and our the next generation according to the writer will be flying cars let's read together ask any science fan about the future and they will most definitely tell you that it will be full of flying cars where drivers may become optional many researchers scientists and engineers see personal air transport as the inevitable solution to the problem of congested roads or airports that suffer from delays. At first, it was a dream to combine a car with an aeroplane. However, a flying car was considered to be too heavy, costly to design, and inefficient. Another problem was that you had to be a pilot with a certified license in order to fly one. Now, with modern lightweight materials and computer technology, a number of inventors and small companies are working on their own individual versions of flying cars, which they hope will dramatically change air travel. NASA is developing a control program called Highway in the Sky, which is something similar to a modern air traffic control system where thousands of flying cars will be able to operate simultaneously without running the risk of crashing into one another. Dr. Bruce Holmes, NASA's manager of general aviation programs, states that in the future, automatic flying cars will be operating without human pilots, as onboard computers will fly and negotiate with other flying cars' computers and with ground stations that will determine who can land or fly at a particular altitude. Paul Muller, chief executive of Muller International and developer of the flying sky car M400, spent 40 years and millions of dollars designing, building and testing the personal aircraft. In 1989, he designed and tested the M200X and later the M400, which can reach cruising speeds of up to 350 miles per hour at an altitude of 50 feet. Technically speaking, this flying car is known as a Volantor, 
which is defined as a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that is capable of flying quickly and easily. This allows the flying car to be flexible like a helicopter without losing the speed of a fast aircraft. It runs on petrol, diesel, alcohol or propane and its fuel consumption is comparable to that of a medium-sized car. Now we will have some comprehension questions to see if you understood the text or not. We will read the questions, then we will read the text again. The first question. Why were flying cars only a dream in the past? A. The technology wasn't advanced enough. B. There was little interest in them. C. They were considered impossible to build. D. They were expensive and not very practical. The second question, what is NASA working on? A. Its own flying car. B. Ground stations for flying cars. C. Computers for flying cars. D. Air routes for flying cars. The third question, what is characteristics of Volunteer? A. It can run on a ver variety of fuels. B. It can take off the same way an aeroplane does. C. It is slower than most aircraft. D. It consumes much more than medium-sized car. Now we will read again and try to find the answers of these questions. Ask any science fan about the future and they will most definitely tell you that it will be full of flying cars, where drivers may become optional. Many researchers, scientists and engineers see personal air transport as the inevitable solution to the problem of congested roads or airports that suffer from delays. At first, it was a dream to combine a car with an aeroplane. However, a flying car was considered to be too heavy, costly to design and inefficient. Another problem was that you had to be a pilot with a certified license in order to fly one. Now, with modern lightweight materials and computer technology, a number of inventors and small companies are working on their own individual versions of flying cars, which they hope will dramatically change air travel. NASA is developing a control program called Highway in the Sky, which is something similar to a modern air traffic control system where thousands of flying cars will be able to operate simultaneously without running the risk of crashing into one another. Dr. Bruce Holmes, NASA's manager of general aviation programs, states that in the future, automatic flying cars will be operating without human pilots, as onboard computers will fly and negotiate with other flying cars' computers and with ground stations that will determine who can land or fly at a particular altitude. Paul Muller, chief executive of Muller International and developer of the flying sky car M400, spent 40 years and millions of dollars designing, building and testing the personal aircraft. In 1989, he designed and tested the M200X and later the M400, which can reach cruising speeds of up to 350 miles per hour at an altitude of 50 feet. Technically speaking, this flying car is known as a Volantor, which is defined as a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that is capable of flying quickly and easily. This allows the flying car to be flexible like a helicopter without losing the speed of a fast aircraft. It runs on petrol, diesel, alcohol or propane and its fuel consumption is comparable to that of a medium-sized car. Now, let's, before we try to answer, let's try to understand the meaning of some important words. The first word is inevitable. Inevitable means cannot be avoided. It is a must. So 
Many researchers, so many researchers, scientists, and engineers see personal air transport as a must. They say it is a must, cannot be avoided solution to the problem of congested roads. Congested mean, means, the word congested means uh, crowded. The car, the, the roads that are full of cars, we call they, we call them congested roads or airports. NASA is American government or organization that does research on space uh, and organize space space travel. It is the short form of National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Altitude is the height above the sea level. The word flexible means can be moved. The opposite of flexible is fixed. Fixed cannot be moved. Now let's think about the questions again. Why were flying cars only a dream in the past? What do you think the answer is? Read the answers quickly. Excellent. So the answer is D. They were expensive and not very practical. Second question. What is NASA working on? The third question. What is a characteristics of a volunteer? A. It can run on variety of fuels. B. It takes off in the same way an aeroplane does. C. It is slower than most aircraft. D. It consumes much more than medium-sized car. The answer is A. It can run on a variety of fuels. Assessment Match the highlighted words in the article with the meanings A to H. There are two extra meanings which you will not use. A. Inevitable as I said, as I told you, cannot be uh, changed. Two, congested, means crowded. Three, simultaneously, which means uh, at the same time. Four, altitude, uh, above, uh, the height above the sea level. Uh, five, flexible movable six considerably that uh, means a lot too much now the meanings are a cannot be prevented from happening b a lot c slightly d at the same time e height above sea level f blocked with traffic g issue H able to change or adapt easily. What's the answer of number one? Inevitable. Number one. Number one's answer is A. Excellent. Cannot be prevented from happening. Number two. Congested. F blocked with traffic. When we have lots of a lot of cars in the road, it will be blocked with traffic, jammed. Simultaneously, at the same time. Altitude, E, height above sea level. Five, flexible. H, able to change or adapt easily. 6. Considerably B. A lot. So 
so we have slightly and issue are extra meanings that we didn't use so again the answers are 1a 2f 3d 4e 5h 6b this is the end of our today's lesson today we have read the text and these are some information mentioned in the text flying car was considered to be too heavy costly to design and inefficient NASA is developing a control program called highway in the sky which is something similar to modern air traffic control system where thousands of flying cars will be able to operate simultaneously without running the risk of crashing into one another we said also volunteer runs on petrol diesel alcohol or propane flying cars would reduce air and noise pollution levels also we have studied the meaning of these words we said inevitable cannot be prevented from happening congested blocked with traffic simultaneously at the same time altitude height above sea level flexible able to change or adapt easily considerably a lot these are our references for more information and listen you can visit our website ien.edu.com or you can contact us on our twitter account ien underscore t4 edu or you can call us on our free phone eight double zero double four double two double two zero thank you for listening wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh